what I like about Board Spot School lessons is that the information and the sources are actually verified and it's not just coming from some media outlet, it's official statistics and facts provided by charities and organisations that have worked in the sector or the topic of the issue. They don't just give you like a, you know, a question to think about yourselves, they provide facts with it after you've thought about it for a while. They also give you a chance to debate with other students and see their opinion. Uh, we really prioritise personal development as much as the focus on developing students' academic skills, so academic vocational qualifi um, technical qualifications. Um, and Boats for Schools allows us to do that because it allows us to really focus on developing our students personally. Um, it allows them and us to sort of develop them in terms of what they're thinking about what's happening in the real world. I don't think it's a bad thing if someone disagrees with me because it gives you that chance to be able to have a debate and to be able to discuss about what your opinion is and possibly change your own opinion depending on a reasonable argument that's presented. I think it's a good thing that if people disagree with you so you could be exposed to people with different opinions and essentially have practiced people in, in like the real world. Um, so it, do, it is very broad um, and through that we're able to address lots of sort of strands on the SMSE, British values and even prevent. Um, so it's a really it's a win-win uh, for us and it's a central part of our tutor programme um, and we deliver that every week. I think it's important for young people to have an understanding of what's going on in the local community when it comes to the police side of things, whether they know that they have trust in their police force and that they can be confident going to them if they have any issues. And I also think it is, it is good for the uh, local community to have an understanding of how these uh, crimes are things you're dealing with so you have a bit more of an understanding of what you're going into if you get into that circumstances or if you are in a circumstance where you need to put yourself forward. So I'm part of the police community group and basically what we do is we have two police officers come in um, who basically give us an insight on um, like mainly stop searches, they give us like, um, they show us a video about like what happens during a stop uh, stop search? What happens when the arrest is during a hate crime? The show is like police logs, and it's really interesting to look at. I feel like both schools makes me feel more confident about showing my opinion because it's a non-biased platform, meaning that you don't have a really a view already prefixed onto the subjects, so you're not making up someone else's conclusion on yourself, and it also gives that chance for debate and argument to be able to be presented towards the class and it just it gives that environment between the class a much more comfortable place to talk about your opinions on politics or on issues going on in the world without having a sense of judgement upon you. The reason I wanted to join Youth Parliament and get elected as a Youth MP is because I wanted to bring about change. For the past five years I was part of Wakefield's Youth Council which is a smaller sector of youth parliament which works on local issues and I've been part of that as a youth councillor for five years and I had an excellent record and track of getting things done and I felt this was the correct thing to step up and to do and for the next progression in my career as a in youth activism. So when the reason I got into youth parliament is because there were so many issues affecting young people in Wakefield in West Yorkshire and it was from transport to mental health services, to education and to curriculum that's being taught in schools and loads of people came back and they talked and they told me and they gave me feedback about what they wanted to change. I took that on board and it was part of my manifesto. That's ultimately what got me elected and I'm on track of uh, providing and delivering for the manifestation ideas that I put forward to the young people.